We took to our community tab and asked you all to send us some clips of your batting or bowling and you all came through in full force with over a hundred submissions. So in this video, we'll be taking six of your submissions and doing a mini analysis and giving you a draw that can help you improve. We obviously couldn't cover all of the submissions in this video as we'd be here for hours. So we decided to set a goal. If we can get 2000 likes on this video, we'll definitely be making another one where we analyze a bunch more of your submissions to help you improve. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Our first submission is from Kiran. Sorry if we butchered your name. Kiran told us he specifically struggles with nicking off and waiting for the ball. So let's have a look at why this might be the case. Looking at the footage, we can see a few things. We can see that he is very front on at the contact point in shots. And because of this, he's coming around his body with his swing, which is taking away his power and making him reach for the ball. And the final thing we can see is that he's leaning back to try and allow himself to have access to the ball with his bat. All these things will lead to you nicking the ball off as the bat is not going through the contact point, but across it, promoting the edge of the bat. The draw we have chosen to help and try and fix the majority of these errors is where you get set in a front foot position already with your hands already set to the open side. From here, you're gonna start with some pops, hitting through the ball to get comfortable with it. We're then gonna to advance to some underarms to get used to the ball coming towards us, and finally to overarms, so we can feel the full force of the shot through a ball coming towards us with a proper bounce. For our second submission, we have Harshal. He told us that at present, he's struggling with getting his head closer to the contact point and staying side on through the shot. Luckily, with Harshal's video, we can clearly see why this is the case. He is too upright in his set. He doesn't have a shoulder dip into the shot when he's playing it. And the final thing is he is not staying in his shot where he stands up at the completion and does not have the full energy in the shot that he requires. The draw we have chosen to fix this is the one where we stand with the ball in our chin. As we drop it down with a step, we hold that position and hit through the ball, making sure we have a nice big extension and keeping that front knee nice and bent all the way to completion. For our third submission, we have one of our pro players that play in the South African Franchise League, Thomas Hobson. Realistically, Hobson has got his style and technique pretty much figured out at this point, but we did notice two small things that could help him get a little bit extra out of his action. When we look at the submitted videos, we can see that the front arm doesn't always work as hard as we feel that it could, and this could cause a lack of explosiveness through the action. The draws we have chosen to fix this is a cone in the front hand so we can see the whole action move and making sure that the front arm is working nice and hard, or band work to really give us that little bit of extra resistance through it to force us into a strong, explosive position. For our fourth submission, we might bring out the meat cleaver again in butchering a name. Thank you for your submission, Vatsal. He wanted us to check out his bowling action, and from the small amount of footage, we could see the following. In his run-up, he already has cones set up to make sure that his approach to the crease is in one line, and a hurdle to make sure that he bounds over it. But he is jumping inside of the hurdle, which is causing him to jump inwards and lose momentum. At the same time, his front leg is not bracing, which is causing a collapse, making him ball from a low point and wasting the momentum there. And the final thing, with that lack of momentum, he's struggling to drive through correctly with the back leg, causing him to not finish his action properly and wasting potential momentum. The draw we have chosen to fix this is the bound and ball draw, where we set on the front foot behind a hurdle and force ourselves to jump over the hurdle and forward. We'll use cones to create a landing area for the bowler to land through. And then from here, making sure that they drive through with the back leg and straight forward through the crease. Our second to last submission comes from Robert. He specifically asked for any advice that could help improve his batting. And that's exactly what we are going to do. A massive thing we could immediately see from his video is that Robert gets outside the line of the ball with his front foot, meaning that he's playing away from his body and that he's quite upright in his shot. And this is causing him to not have a full swing through the ball, which is costing him power. The draw we have chosen for this is to take some tape and mark a line just outside of his back heel to make sure that the front foot does not go across that because we never want our front foot going down the leg side and then from there we're going to throw the ball the bat is going to step into the line and look to hit through the ball trying to stay in one position the whole time the final submission we'll be covering in this video comes from Priyanshu. he specifically said that he struggles with a pull shot so let's see what we can do looking at the footage we can see a few things we can immediately see that his head is falling back behind his back foot and away from the contact point. At the same time, his hands don't get up high enough 
We want the hands to get up to at least an eye line. And from there, he needs to reach out to hit the ball while driving his head forward to give him the best possible position to see the ball into the pull shot and ensure that the contact is pure. The draw we have chosen to do this is being already set in the pull shot position, thrown under arms and looking to fetch the ball forward with your bottom hand while having both hands on the bat. At the same time as you're looking for the swing, the head is going to shift slightly forward to make contact. This is to enable us to have the biggest possible swing to enhance our power potential. You can slowly progress with this to slow over arms until you're comfortable and then ramp it up and see if you can do it at match pace. Thank you again for all the submissions. Please remember to leave us a like. At 2000 likes, we'll be doing another one of these videos. A massive thank you to all our members. Your support helps make these videos possible. And finally, if you want to see amazing results in your batting, check out this video right here.